everybody, Felicia here, and I am going to talk to you today about the hard truths about weight loss. So, you're working out, you've been eating healthy, you feel like you're doing everything right, but you're not losing weight. Why does this happen? Well, I believe just with my experience with the amount of people that I've worked with that we sometimes set ourselves up for failure. So I'm going to talk to you about the hard truths about weight loss. Okay. So number one, you deprive yourself. This is probably the worst thing you can do. I say, you know what, when you are trying to lose weight, do not diet. The reason why we set ourselves up for failure when we deprive ourselves is we end up starting this vicious cycle. The reason I know is because I've done it, is we start this vicious cycle of binging. So when you tell yourself you can't have something, when you tell yourself, oh my God, I can't have pizza, I can't have donuts, I can't have all these things that are like the forbidden foods that, that we need to stay away from, there comes a time where you go, crazy on those foods, which leads to binging. Now, I don't know about you, but I spent many years binging um, and extreme dieting. So I would go really extreme, fish and asparagus. I can't eat asparagus to this day because I ate so much in my lifetime. Um, but I like a lot of other vegetables. It's just I cannot, I cannot eat asparagus. But um, I'd go really extreme and then at the end of the week I would spend the whole weekend binging because I deserved it or I would have a bite of something which led to the snowball effect of just eating bad the whole weekend or the whole night and I'm talking thousands of calories um, and then you get back on it on Monday I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back on track and I'm gonna eat really healthy I'm gonna be extreme one little thing can throw you off and the whole act of depriving yourself will set you up for that and the reason I know is because I did it for many years and it wreaked havoc on my metabolism. I gained more weight than I've ever gained. I was miserable. I was tired. Um, I just didn't feel good. And, you know, you can take control of that. It's not like pizza and donuts are going to fall off the face of the earth tomorrow and you have to get it in your system now. They're going to be there tomorrow. Have some, have a bite of pizza, have a slice of pizza. Just don't binge on pizza, if I can say, give you one, you know, uh, advice or tip. It's just binging leads to wrecking the metabolism. So please do not do that. Do not deprive yourself, number one. Hard truths about weight loss. Do not deprive yourself. Number two, you're good all day, but, and the reason I say this is because the only way that we're going to get to our goal body, our goal weight, our goal whatever it is, you want to fit into a pair of jeans. I don't like to weigh myself, that's just me, but you have to be consistent. So you have a good breakfast, you have a snack, you have a good lunch, and then a friend's birthday comes up, which is normal, you know, social functions happen, but then every day it's something. And it's like you have a work function, you have a kid's birthday, you skip lunch because you forgot to plan or things just start to happen and your intentions are good but you're not being consistent. The only way our body makes changes is through consistency and the more that you allow those little things to add up, it's going to lead to big things, meaning you're not going to see the changes that you want or it's going to take you a lot longer to get there. So yes, social functions will come up birthday parties, anniversaries, all these things. And I'm not saying don't partake in these activities. Just, you know, fill up on some healthy food first. And again, don't deprive yourself. Don't binge either, okay? Um, so be consistent. You want to see results, you have to put the work in to get there, okay? You have to. You have to continue on this healthy lifestyle and make good choices. And, you know, it's not easy. But in time, it'll get easier and easier. Number three, hard truth about weight loss. You don't have enough muscle on your body. You need this. You need muscle to burn calories, okay? Most women are afraid to lift and they're afraid to put on any sort of muscle because they don't want to get bulky. Well, I can assure you, I promise you, you will not get bulky. You don't have the testosterone like a man does. You're not eating the type of calories like a man does. You're not going to put on that sort of muscle. And anything, muscle 
makes you strong and it makes you tight and fit and firm. I would much rather be tight in all the right areas and fit in all the right areas and just be thin or skinny fat is what they call it. You know, I'd rather have a strong body and that's what weightlifting does. So go to the gym, lift some weights, get, you know, start building some muscle. Your body's going to burn more calories in the long run and muscle, it just uses more energy than fat does. So you are going to be healthier for the long run and you're not going to put on those excess pounds and excess fat. So number one, do not deprive yourself. No binging, no depriving. Number two, stay consistent. And number three, lift some weights. You will lose weight. You will hit your goal weight. You will hit that body, whatever your goals might be. I don't know what they are. I always tell people, please do not weigh yourself because sometimes it kind of plays with your head because muscle does weigh more than fat. So I don't necessarily weigh myself, but I do know how I feel and I do know how I look. And when I look in the mirror, you have to be happy with yourself. So those are the hard truths about weight loss. I know you can get there. I'm rooting for you. Stick to it. Listen to these three tips that I that I have about the hard truths about weight loss and you know try to adhere to them. Okay? Don't diet, be consistent, lift some weights. Alright, thanks so much. Have a great day.